Hallelujah, it is Rhapsody time, reality time. Good morning, I bid to all of you. If this is your first time tuning into our channel, we welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. You, my friend, have started the day right. Hallelujah. Today is October the 12th and our man of God will be sharing a message entitled, It is not a fantasy. Our opening scriptures from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 to 52. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. Hallelujah! The rapture of the church is going to happen suddenly, anytime soon. And I hope you are getting yourself ready. People will be going about their daily routines and then, suddenly, as quickly as you can blink your eyes, everyone who's born again will check out of this world. Hallelujah! That's how fast it will be. Look at the description in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. There will be two trumpet sounds. The first sound, only Christians who have died will hear and come back to life. Then the second trumpet sound will follow, which is the last one. At the sound of that last trumpet, the Bible says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. The Lord will descend from heaven, but He won't touch down on the earth. Instead, He will wait in the air, and we will be caught up to meet Him. All this will happen in a moment. We will be transformed from terrestrial to celestial beings, and then we're gone out of this world. Imagine the headlines after we're out of here. They're gone! The media will be in chaos, trying to find answers and figure out where we've disappeared to. But the answers are in the Bible. At that moment, those who'd be left behind would realize what a terrible mistake they have made for not believing in Jesus. Now is the time to serve the Lord passionately and love Him with all your heart. Everything we leave behind all the material possessions, the gold, diamonds, credit cards, houses, money, etc. that wasn't used for the gospel prior to that time will all become meaningless. This is not a fantasy. It is a reality that's going to happen. And it could happen at any moment. Live in readiness, with your heart set on things above and not on the fleeting treasures of this world. Live your best and be your best for Jesus Christ steadfast and unmovable, diligently doing the work of the Lord. Hallelujah! Isn't that exciting? Now, wherever you are, kindly raise your holy hands and let's take this confession together. My heart is focused on the Lord and He soon return. Therefore, I live in readiness, doing the work of the Lord with faith, hope and love. I'm empowered by the Spirit to share the gospel and prepare others for the rapture. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, for you to understand today's message even better, I recommend you take some time to meditate and study these following scriptures. From the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 42 to 44, and the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, preferably from the Amplified Classic. There you go, my brothers and sisters. The rapture is real. It is happening. And it is coming real soon. The question is, are you ready? 
Glory be to God. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you would like to subscribe to the Rhapsody of Realities app, it is now available on rhapsodyofrealities.org, the Apple App Store, and Google Play. Glory be to God. Don't forget to share this beautiful gospel to your world. And see you again. Jesus loves you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you Lord for saving my soul I have eternal life now I'm a child of God now I am born again thank you Lord if you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris congratulations welcome to the family of God Rhapsody of Realities Giving you life a meaning every day My life made perfect with Rhapsody